light of the escalating situation, we are speaking with the director of the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services tonight on 7 Up Front, Director Elizabeth Hertel. Thank you once again for making the time for us this evening. Thanks for having me. First, let's talk about the levels of community transmission based on federal guidelines. All Michigan counties are now at the point uh, where people should be wearing masks indoors and at times outdoors. As cases rise, is there any discussion regarding man, uh, mask mandates to protect Michigan residents? We continue to uh, echo the recommendations of the CDC for masking in particular indoors for persons who uh, are both vaccinated and unvaccinated as we see some of our case rates increasing here due to the prevalence of the Delta variant uh, in Michigan. At this point, uh, we don't anticipate implementing any masks, mask mandates statewide, uh, but we'll continue to watch the, the cases and the numbers over the next couple of weeks to Gotta see say, if uh, we need to change our minds. I yeah, apologize for stepping on you there. Uh, no I, I, I must say, I'm, I'm seeing more and more masks in stores when I'm out and about today, more people taking uh, that seriously. Students, uh, Director Hotel, returning to the classroom, two of our local counties here requiring masks in schools now. Do you anticipate those mandates expanding to include uh, the rest of uh, or more communities in our state? The Department of Health and Human Services put out pretty clear guidance for schools that we do recommend mandating masks indoors for students uh, to mitigate the risk of transmission and ensure that kids can stay in person in the classroom this year. I'm really excited to see the number of districts and local health departments that are working to implement that. Uh, and again, we'll continue to watch as schools go back into session here over the last couple of weeks and in the coming weeks, those case rates among students to make sure that uh, those mitigation measures are working. Of course, there are some who still question the effectiveness of masks. Is it the view of the health department that vaccination first and masks remain our best defense against transmission and spread of the virus and, and the Delta variant? No question. The vaccines that we have available are safe and they are effective. All three vaccines are effective uh, in mitigating the transmission of COVID, absolutely. And we continue to work to make that available to everybody. Masks are our simplest non-invasive way to make sure that we are lessening the spread of COVID among individuals. And I am fully supportive of continued masking and those mandates in schools. Where do we stand with hospitals right now in terms of capacities or any sense yet also when we might see a peak in COVID cases in this uh, latest surge? We're not sure when we're gonna see a peak. Our numbers are increasing, but they're not increasing as quickly uh, as they had been last year. Um, so we continue to watch those. We know, however, that our hospitals are getting at capacity and it's not because of people with COVID. It's just, they're just filling with people who are, are sick. And so they are uh, concerned about if we see another surge,